Later this morning, City of Long Beach will begin clearing out homeless encampments. Yeah, this comes weeks after Governor Gavin Newsom threatened to withhold money from cities that do not do more to stop homelessness. KTLA 5's Annie Rose Ramos live from Long Beach with those details. Annie Rose, good morning to you. Hey guys, good morning to you both. These are areas that have been described by the city as problem encampments. And what that means is that these encampments are blocking areas to public spaces like the one you see behind me. We're at the main library here in Long Beach. Now we've already seen signs going up in some local city parks, one actually a couple blocks from where I'm standing, but where we are right here at the library, we've driven around the entire block and Megan and Chris, there are upwards of anywhere between 20 to 25 people sleeping on the side walks, whether that's in tents, whether that's in sleeping bags, and those that we have spoken to this morning say they haven't heard of anything from the city about being removed as early as today. We spoke to the mayor last week about more of when it comes to this measure. Take a listen. This is only in the in the most extreme circumstances. Uh, these are when uh, chronic encampments in our parks, our beaches and libraries uh, are really a threat to public health or accessibility is when we can leverage these new tools. But let's be very clear. Uh, this is not a solution to homelessness. There are no shortcuts. We have to place a real focus and maintain our focus on root causes. All right, in this memo released by Long Beach officials last week, the city explaining what they're calling a human centered approach involving Long Beach police taking a more proactive role. Police officers will be able to decide whether to enforce rules against camping or sleeping in public places. The memo says if someone's only violation is breaking the rules against camping, their citation or arrest will likely be referred to city departments like Health and Human Services. But if a homeless person has committed additional crimes, their citations and arrests will be handled according to local, state, and federal law. The city focusing on priority areas like public parks, libraries, and beach areas, including Billie Jean King Main Library, where I'm standing, Lincoln Park, and with and also Gumbiner Park, all on that priority list. Now, we spoke to residents and those experiencing homelessness about this new approach. It's about time. This has been going on for a long time, and we paid a lot of money to build this new library. I've had to reroute the way I walk, because I've always walked around down here, but it's gotten so bad. And we've actually been accosted by some of the not so nice ones. You know, I apply by the rules all the time and try to do what's right. I work at the hotel right there, the Travel King Motel right there. I work Monday through Thursdays and Friday through Sundays. I work with the, at, the, uh, uh, at the service station watching windows. So, you know, I support myself and I try to do the best I can and I stay out of trouble. The thing is, I deserve housing too. I'm 61 years old. All right, these are those signs I was talking about. They're posted in Governor Park, just a few blocks from where I'm standing. The city's crackdown coming more than a month after Governor Gavin Newsom issued an executive order directing state agencies to clear encampments from state property and urging counties and cities to do the same. All of this as a result of the Supreme Court ruling back in June that said counties and cities can enforce laws restricting homeless people from sleeping or camping in public spaces, even if there isn't a shelter space available. Back here live at the main library in Long Beach. We understand from city officials that those um, who are sleeping outside, they will be approached by service staff and support staff in order to connect them with the resources that are available in the city of Long Beach before they actually remove those encampments. However, we are going to be moving over to that park where you saw those signs posted to see what's going to be happening there today. Reporting live, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio.